Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Promise Neverland, the second season, episode number 11. And this is the final episode of this season. Uh, I'm not sure, like, I think they are trying to end, like, this is, like, I've not read the manga, so I cannot say. But I think this is probably going to be the end of the story itself, you know. Because they skipped so many portions of the manga, as far as I've heard and it's like they just jumped to the end like they like did a few from the beginning then like skipped most of the portions and then jumped to the end and is trying to end the show you know with this season only um i don't know like why this like why they did this and like like who even thought that did this would be a good idea you know like like what I don't know like um I, i'm pretty like confused like why like like why did they even do this like you know like any sensible person when like when someone uh like comes across a situation like this like if someone says that okay like you'll get a new season of an anime but you will get only the beginning of it and the end of it the middle portion will be all skipped the best portions will be all skipped and you'll get the two of it and we'll end the show like who even, even thinks about this? Who even made the decision to make the season like this? I'm not actually sure. I think there is, there might be some kind of problem they had. So they like rushed to complete this like series. But if they had some problem, why did they even like make this season in the first place? I'm not actually sure. But anyways, like I, I think this is the end. And by end, I mean the literal end. The end of the whole story. Let's see. Like, let's see if... It actually is that case because as I said like I've not read the manga so I do not know where the story actually is but it seems like it's almost the end you know like they're going to like save uh, Phil and uh, the other uh, kids from the orphanage and it will be like the end of the conflict or something I'm not sure but yeah let's just you know see what happens uh, so yeah uh, oh also in the previous episode Isabella like came to our site which was kind of predictable I already said it so yeah that's one good thing that happened <laughs> so okay uh, without further ado let's get started with episode number 11 of Promised Neverland season 2 so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here send it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one Go. Okay. Like, you know what actually happened to the story? Like, uh, the first season was like every, like, like an extremely suspenseful thriller type of uh, story. Then when the season two came, it suddenly changed its genre and became a shonen anime. Like, like, I think that is the main thing that really made me uncomfortable. Like, like the genre sh shift, like, usually like there are a few animes where there's like a genre shift, you know, like, if it like it was like a happy show like you know uh, cute people doing cute things and then suddenly like people are dying like that's something you know like quite interesting and suspenseful but this did the opposite like it was like a suspenseful thriller type of a show but then it suddenly like changed its genre to a shonen you know like friends my friends like we'll do everything with the power of friends this type of a show i'm not like i'm not saying that's bad but like why like why promise neverland you know like a show like that mm, that's true <laughs> um i doubt it <laughs> Mm. Minerva? Oh, he knows Minerva.
Okay. Noble mission. Oh, it's, it's, it's uh, James Ratri, isn't it? Like his brother, okay. The traitor comrade. Oh! Okay. Okay. Oh, why? Oh my god. Oh, he, his brother. Oh, wait a minute. So James Rathri is Minerva. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. Oh, I had this confusion. I was like, who is James and who is Peter? So, okay, James Rathri is Minerva. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, he killed... Did he kill? Or or no 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 I don't think he killed. No no he did not kill. I think he was he killed his brother. No, that's not it. Oh he's I sacrificed my Oh or did he kill him? Hmm, he's too far gone. Um, well, yeah, if you're going on that path, like... Uh. Oh, no, oh, too late. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, too late. Oh my god, they're all ready. <laughs> they're like, what the hell is even happening? So this is the demon's stronghold or something? You work.
notice they they sent a notice <laughs> okay uh yeah like they're like the you know Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like what would have done, like they have done, like if they stayed here, like this is like a demon's territory and. I think Ilas Isabella is like the one of the best characters of this show. I like I said this before, uh, like, but he's she's like one of the most complicated and the one of the most like what can I say like a a, a real like unique type of a character. Okay, let's go. Hmm. What about Phil and the others? Like, okay. Oh, damn. Huh. That's the elevator? Yeah, okay, there. Oh, I kind of forgot. Like, I was thinking what happened to Phil. Phil is already here. Oh my god. I, I kind of missed everything up. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what, what's going to happen to the Gracefield, like, children? But they're already here. Like, they kind of showed us in the previous episode. So, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I forgot about that completely. Okay, yeah, now they have, go to, have to go to the human world. That's the only thing left. Hmm, okay. God <laughs> damn. Like poking, poking the owl's uh, eye. <laughs> yeah, but will the humans accept you? Like, that's the question. Like, you know, so many people coming from the demon, you know, the, the demon side. The human side. What? Wait, what? Why? Oh, are they going to deal with the demons?
Yeah, I think they're going to deal with the demons now. Wait, so Ember just convinced Isabella to go with them just for like her herself not to go? Yeah, to change the world, you have to topple the top. Okay, I won't go yet. Okay. Yeah, they'll like, yeah, like they'll, they'll still mess with them. Oh god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, they're also here. Dawn and Gilda. Uh, I'm going in a weird direction. Mm, okay. Oh. Um, the door is closing.
Um, the door. Okay, it's not closing. I see it's closing. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't know what to think about this. Like, they just like think that they'll do the same things as Minerva did. Wow, there really is a human civilization. Like, you know, it's really weird to think about it. Like, we've already, like, always been seeing these, like, uh, demon settlements and all. Oh, they're like accepting them. I did not think they're going to accept them, you know, because like I can see like they rushed through this, like, you know, the last portion because I can think about a lot of things that they would have problems with after coming to the human world. Like it's, it's not really weird to think that the humans would accept them so easily, like, you know, Wow, they're like wearing the normal clothes. Who is this? Okay, these are the humans from the orphanage, I'm guessing. Other orphanages. What? What is this? What are they showing us? Like, we don't even know these characters. I'm guessing they skipped all of these portions from the manga. Like it looked like that, that guy looked cool, you know, it was like floating mid-air and there was like a dragon behind him. Like I want to know more about him, but what the hell, like they didn't even show us. Oh my god, they completely rushed this potion. I... Ah... Uh. Oh my god, they grew up. <laughs> yeah. Who is, is this Phil? Damn, Phil is... Oh! Wait, what? Wait a minute! They grew up and Emma and not... Emma didn't grow up? What? Oh, or did she grow up? Like... What the hell was this episode? Like, I'm glad they're happy in the end, but what? Like, is this the way you, sh like, end the season? Like, oh my god. Like, I kind of said that in the previous episode, I was, like, starting to, you know, kind of get a little bit more interested again. Like, when they, like, showed everything, like, like that happened in the previous episode. The previous episode, uh, I kind of liked. And so I was thinking, like, maybe they're going to do the ending of the season correctly. I'm not even sure if this is how it plays out in the manga or not, but like I did not like this episode at all. Like it was the first portion was boring and the next like the ending portion was rushed. Like this is a mess. This this episode is just this is just a mess. This episode. I really am not like you know. Like I don't know, like, like, did anyone, like, this is my question, like, you know, to you guys, like, did he, did anyone of you like the way this ended? Like, it seems as if, like, they have a lot of things to explain, but they just thought that, ah, who even cares, like, like, just let it be, we'll just end the show like this. 
and I'm guessing that's the end of the not even the se season. It's the end of the like series. So yeah, like wow, like this is how you do it, like. <sighs> Okay, like, let me first talk about the, uh, like, problems that, they, like, this season had. First of all, they, like, did, like, you know, brought out a few plot points, which they didn't even bother to explain in the end. I'm not sure if they explained it in the manga, but at least in the anime, they did not explain. The first thing that happened was, like, the whole thing with Sonju and Mujika. Like, they were, like, introduced... And it was as if like they forgot about them for a few episodes, then they were suddenly brought back again. And like, this is how it went in this like, you know, uh, season. Another thing, uh, Sonju, like there was a whole thing with Sonju. Well, Sonju, it seemed as if Sonju was like a bad person. Like he had his own intentions, like, you know, bad intentions or something, uh, which kind of like she, he kind of said that, okay, like we are just letting them be for the time being. And when they grow up and like, you know, like they are like uh, running around in the wild, that time will kill and eat them because it will be like, we are not hunting humans for our pleasure. We are hunting, you know, for uh, like, we're just hunting. It's not like we're killing them for like eating. Uh, we're hunting them for survival, something like that, you know, like uh, he found a loophole in his religion or something. And then I, I think they forgot about it in the end. Like that was it. And then like they like there's no more uh, like they didn't even bring that up in the end. Like and was like in the end Sonju was all like okay I'll help you and he was like all right and like uh, that's the end. And uh, I think they like obviously like they skipped a lot of things and a lot of important things and like and in the end like they are like i don't know this episode feel, felt boring like you know like uh the first thing that like one thing that ratri uh did that is peter ratri did that he killed himself um i i think like if he like uh, joined hands with emma that would have been even worse you know because like as he said that uh like people cannot change their positions so easily and like he could like one thing that he could not have done was kill himself but like he did that but so like i don't know what to say about that but still like i like i at least thought that if he joined hands with emma it would be like a bigger like weird thing that would have happened in this season but thankfully he did not do that because you know like like when an enemy like loses and suddenly like the main protagonist comes and gives you hope and the enemy says that okay like um i'll join you like all of the things that i've done yeah i i must have been wrong like your speech like changed me completely it like enlightened me and i am now like so woke so i'll join you like that's how it happens in a few animes and that's weird you know but if there's like a, a actual reason for the enemy converting, that's okay. But I'm just saying like, just because like the main protagonist gave some kind of a grando speech, the enemy like listening to the speech kind of change. That's, that's completely like uh, something that I really do not like. But if there's like a, like a reason, uh, some like viable reason, then it's okay. Like the main, like the enemy is kind of changing and like emma was trying like this like you know the thing that you say like what's that oh talk no jutsu like the enemies after listening to talk no jutsu they completely change and uh like in this episode emma, emma was also trying to do but he she needs more training you know she was unable to do it and ratri was like i don't care and he just like killed himself and yeah and then like uh, we get to the next portion where like uh, all of the other moms and everyone like they decide to join them and emma like i feel like <laughs> like it's kind of weird you know like emma like told uh, you know like when like isabella said that okay i'll like stay here and like we have some stuff to do emma said like no you like okay, come with us you will like my mom and everything and isabella and all the other m moms were like you know convinced and they decided okay let's go and then when they go to the human world uh, emma says that okay we'll stay like that's really weird 
but i can kind of understand what he she tried to do she was like okay like like i was also thinking about this like if they suddenly like leave the demon world what would happen if the demons try to come to the human world and go after them you know so they needed to do something about uh, like you know the demons uh, like you know topple the government and uh, like appoint someone who is better than the current government something like that and now then they uh, like they say that okay we'll come back in like after all of these ends and all and they go to the demon uh, continent again and now then they show us a montage a freaking montage of what happens after that okay okay let's see what the montage shows us okay the first thing that we see is like uh, the them going to the human settlements and all of the humans like saying that oh you guys are here come like welcome welcome come here like you're our friends like okay stay here this is another weird thing i always thought that whenever they go back to the human settlement the humans would not accept them and that is something that like i at least thought would happen because you know like these people are in the demon continent always in the demon continent if they suddenly come back a lot of people first the first thing that will happen is that a lot of people will get scared you know scared about them like they have lived in the demon continent they have been in contact with the demons and they are now in uh, like you know among us like what will happen to us they'll be scared the first thing the second thing that would happen they would also be scared but for a different reason the reason will be like they'll be scared if the demons come hunting them and uh, like in the process like come to the human world that's a big thing that was that would be the biggest thing that the humans would be scared about and a lot of other complications as well like you know like they won't be able to like interact with them properly because they would have this kind of uh, like discrimination like oh like they're from the demon continent and stuff like that so like like them going and then like all other humans are like uh, you know like like spreading their arms and saying that ah welcome i i never thought this would happen and the way they showed the montage it seemed as if something like that happened which is weird again like i don't know like i don't think like everyone would be so accepting like you know so like i feel as if like they knew like you know the uh, they knew that uh, problems would be would be happening would have happened if they came to a demon uh, from the demon continent to the human world a new conflict would start but the you know like uh, th they thought that ah well who cares like just like keep it like that and like make it as if like all the humans were like so accepting of them and they were like ah welcome welcome like <laughs> you were uh, like we've been waiting for you like welcome something like that so no like I, I cannot accept that like it seems as if like I want more conflict to happen but that's not the case it's it's just that you know like the way this happened is really weird and it's not so like things don't happen so smoothly so i feel as if they completely brushed aside that portion and they like turned a blind eye to that and just thought that okay let's let's, let's just like end this story here and yeah and and then we see like all of the other i'm guessing that uh, like the orphanage kids like them uh like doing normal stuff in the real world and vincent is like uh, treating some you know uh, kids the hospital and then we go to the demon like you know demon side where like emma and like mujika sonju they are like kind of like walking and like <clears throat> trying to do something and uh okay then we see like them going to i, I think that was like an orphanage where they like were like meeting again like everyone was like saved and like they're like hugging each other and then we see like they're in a, in a campfire like uh, sonju is uh, like giving something to ray and ray like i don't know like they're shaking hands something like that and um then uh, okay now here's the thing like then we see two demons which we also kind of saw in a previous uh, flashback like this demon kind of like floating around in mid-air and there's just like a demon dragon 
I think this most probably was in the manga and they completely skipped it. That's why we know nothing about this character. And I would have loved to, you know, get to know him or her. The demon who is like floating. Because, like, the character looks cool, you know? Like floating in mid-air and there's like a dragon behind you. <laughs> like with one eye. But, oh well, like, nothing you can do. Like, you won't go to see him in the anime. So, yeah. And I'm just like, you know, uh, kind of thinking that, uh, like not thinking, but I'm just like, uh, you no, know, like I think that they showed him in the manga and like properly introduced him. I'm not even sure because I've not read the manga, but who knows if the manga did a similar thing and they did not, you know, like properly introduce him and just brought him in the end. I'm not, but I think they, they must have introduced him, the, him in the manga. Because, you know, like, they skipped a lot of portions. So, I would have really, li li like, loved to know this character. Because it seems as if he is friendly. Like, he's not like the other demons. Because, like, um, you know, like, uh, Emma is standing in front of him or her. Okay, and then the next uh, scene, we see, like, Sonju and Mujika in front of an old demon with a beard, I think. And then they're, like, standing up on a cliff. And then there's like these kind of like flags and like there's a battlefield I'm thinking. They must have fought I think. Like you know like they must have fought. And then there's like everyone is like all happy they must have won the war or something. And like Mujika is being kind of crowned uh, like a, a thing on her head. Uh, by that person who they met, met I think with the hood. I'm not even sure what's happening, like something like that, I'm guessing. And I'm guessing like Mujika became the new leader of the demons or something like that. And then we see like Emma and Mujika kind of like hugging and everything. And then like we go to the human continent, back to the human continent. And we see Phil is grown up. It feels extremely tall now. And Dawn and uh, like... Uh, not Dawn, like uh, like all the other kids. And then we see um, Emma and the others, you know. And Norman and uh, Ray seems they have grown up, but Emma <laughs> still looks the same. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I can see all of them here. Uh, Phil has grown up quite a like you know lot. Like he has become a lot taller and everything. And then like they uh, hug and yeah, that's the end. Like what? <laughs> uh, okay, there's, here's one thing I want to say. Like I really don't know the, you know, the montage they showed us. Was that something that like they properly explained in the manga or is the same thing happened to the manga? And they just, in the anime, they just thought that, ah, let us just make a montage of four or five chapters, you know? I'm not even sure if that's something that they <coughs> took the liberty of doing or like it really is like this in the manga. So I cannot like comment on that. But whatever may be the case, I do not like this. Like this is like, uh, you know, like, uh, like they really let us down in this season and especially the last episode. Like the last episode, like this episode was, I think, the most rushed. I'm not even sure what to say and like I had high expectations of Promise Neverland and they completely ruined it in this season. The beginning of the season was still okay like you know but the moment they skipped a whole arc and they started you know kind of rushing that's the time when they started messing up because like I think uh, when we started the show in my animal list the rating was like 8, 8.2 or something, I'm not even sure and everything was good up until I think it was episode 5 or something when like uh, Norman was introduced. Just as soon as Norman was introduced and they skipped a whole lot of portions, the rating dropped, dropped to 7 in just one or two days, it dropped and even then it was still bearable you know, like we can kind of see what is happening and like I, you can see, think like oh well like it's a shame, but like, yeah, what else can we do? But this episode, like, 
this episode and the previous episode like they rushed so much and they like completely went to the end i think and like a lot of things were not answered and like the way they did it was extremely like you know like i don't know what to say like it was extremely weird and like in a rushing way so and now i think the rating is 6.4 or something what's the rating let me see hmm promise neverland there you go oh damn 6.39 like, I think that is the lowest that a, like, you know, a, a show which in season one got 8.64. 8.64 season one. That was the rating. And second season is 6.39. Wow. what uh, like i think <laughs> i think i think there's like uh, like only one show was able to do something like this you know like where the first season was so damn highly rated and the next season was so low low rated it was uh, like seven deadly sins but that was only because of the animation not because of the story i think i think it was not because of the story but the animation and then like in this season like uh, i think it's season four like it again like jumped back to its previous rating or something like that because the animation is better now but oh my god yeah like i want to know you you guys' opinion you know like what like what's like like how did you feel about this episode for me, it was kind of bearable, but in the end, I, I don't know. I, I really do not like it, how they ended it. Just like that, like, they, like, showed us a YouTube montage of, like, how happy they were and what they did for the past two or four years, I think. You know, like, they just showed us a montage of that. And, like, the beginning of it, like, I don't know. But, yeah, like, they, it seemed as if they just, like, slapped together the like uh, three or four chapters in one like episode and it was they were like uh, oh well like let's just end it like this i'm sad you know like i really liked uh what what is this um uh promise neverland i even forgot the name <laughs> i really liked promise neverland but the way they did it like it's really a shame so yeah so thank you guys for watching so this was promise neverland season 2 episode number 11 and the season finale and i'm guessing this is also the story finale so yeah like like i i'm really uh i don't know what to say but anyway so yeah guys so if you guys enjoyed the reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed be sure to do so because that helps a lot and comment down below and yeah like just you know share your opinions about this season like what you felt about it and what's your impressions of it so yeah guys so thank you guys for watching so i'll see you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day